If you voted for Trump, if you're going to vote for Trump, either you yourself are a racist or racism just isn't a big deal to you. That's it. Don't talk to me about, oh, but the economy, I, I vote my, my pocketbook. Unless you are ultra rich, that's not the case for you. You don't know economics, plain and simple. But okay. Yeah. So what's the law when you get pulled over? You're it, it, specifically in the state of Florida, because I was curious. You are required to provide your name and identification documents, right? You ain't got to do nothing else. You don't have to be nice. You could be an asshole. Those things are not breaking the law. A cop's job is not to be, I don't know, put on this pedestal like he can't be spoken to like a normal human being. His job is to serve and to protect their job, excuse me, because it's men and women. That's their job. Not escalate a situation. And I found this really funny because Tyreek Hill has been getting a lot of support. And that's a beautiful thing because he was, it was a wrong situation. Was he speeding? Yes. Give him his ticket and let him go on about his job. Okay. There also is an aspect of he was speeding. He's a black man in a $200,000 car that's going to draw you attention. Cops are on a lookout because stereotyping, right? Which shouldn't be the case because it's Miami, but they're stereotyping. But he's been getting a lot of support. And I think that's beautiful, right? That is beautiful that we are getting to the point where even though you have certain segments of the population that are going to always defend the police, no matter what the situation, there are people out there still defending the police over George Floyd, over Breonna Taylor. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But there are always going to be those people. You can't, you can't convince those people. And there's no getting through to them until something bad happens to them. And then their beliefs are shaken because they didn't expect it to happen to them. They expect it to happen to those people, but not them. But as I was watching the support for Tyreek Hill, something came flooding to my memory. And it was Colin Kaepernick. Some of y'all may not remember Colin Kaepernick because it was about eight years ago. But you know me, I'm going to give you a brief history on Colin Kaepernick and in, and why it's so important to this story. Colin Kaepernick had a stance and his stance was centered around protesting racial injustice and police brutality. He began de- kneeling during the national anthem in 2016 to draw attention to these issues. Kaepernick's actions were a form of peaceful protest aimed at highlighting systemic problems within law enforcement and advocating for significant reforms. Now, there's a lot of people that are going to be saying you support the military. I, I, to my knowledge, the national anthem is not the military's fight song. It's America's theme song, but not the military's fight song. That was always used as a ploy, right? Don't pay attention to what he's saying. Don't pay attention to what he's bringing attention to. Let's divert that attention and bring it to something else that nobody can deny. Who's going to say that they don't support the military? They, if you can give me people that say that they don't support the soldiers, they don't always like the actions of our government using our military. They don't always like the fact that that budget for the military is ridiculous. And some of that money could be used elsewhere. I am a person that supports our soldiers, that actually supports the military, that supports the vets, not the corporations that are bilking us and charging us because we're buying their weapons. That's not the military. The military is, are the people. And if you support the military, then you would be a fan of John Stewart and his fight for veterans' rights, because that's supporting the military. And here's the crazy thing. Colin Kaepernick said 
that he wanted to protest during the national anthem. He talked to a, to a soldier, somebody that was in the military and an NFL player. And the NFL player said, hey, look, man, I don't, I don't really like this, but if you want to show respect to us, you at least got to take a knee. That's how you show respect to us. But once again, white fear. A black man was taking a stance on racial injustices and he was blackballed by it. People even said when he couldn't get another quarterback in job that he wasn't good enough. This was a man two seasons before that led his team to a Super Bowl game. But now all of a sudden, he's not good enough. I actually had people that I know said he's not good enough. And I was like, you don't watch football. You don't even understand what, you t what you're talking about. If you like that clip, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all of our latest content. Don't forget to hit the notifications button when you do subscribe so you can get updated every time we release content. We release content every day, whether it's an actual show or clips from the show. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Also, don't forget our Patreon page where you can find our Talking Straight Ish and After Hours Uncensored episodes. That's patreon.com backslash uncensored unsolicited perspectives but once again thank you again for listening to unsolicited perspectives i'm your host bruce anthony and i'm gonna catch you next time i'll holla